what we have achieved is that del cross e is equal to zero, right? This I have told you for electrostatic field, del cross e is zero. And also I have told you that uh, curl of some gradient I can write minus grad of V. So this is also zero. Okay. So we can write electric field as a uh, minus gradient of V. This all we have done, right? And if you apply on the Gauss theorem, del dot e is equal to rho by epsilon naught. This is what? Gauss law? Yes or no? Yeah, Nick, yeah. Yes, Network properly ja raha hai kya? Aap log ki awaaz nahi aa rahi. Haan sir, log bhi batao bhai. Yes sir. Aditya, network aa raha hai? Yes sir. Haan ah, sir aa raha hai. I was saying that this we have already done na? This thing? Yes sir. This is Gauss law. Yes, sir. And uh, if you write e is equal to minus grad of V here, so it will become del dot minus grad of V is equal to rho by epsilon naught. Correct? And uh, this will become minus del square V is equal to rho by epsilon naught. You can take this minus this side. This is a very, very important equation known as Poisson equation. Poisson equation. So please see why this is so important that if you want to calculate the charge density directly from potential, you can calculate because charge density will be given by minus epsilon naught del square v correct so just you have to know again del square for all the three coordinates what are the three coordinate system cartesian cylindrical spherical polar cylindrical and spherical polar for all the three coordinate systems, you have to, you should know this. So what topic I am discussing is Poisson equations. Poisson equation. And Laplace equation. Laplace equation. Poisson equation and Laplace equation. बहुत ध्यान से देखना, because अब actually वो जगह है, जहाँ पे we are discussing beyond what we have done in class twelfth, right? And uh, so is it visible what is written at the top Poisson equation and Laplace equation? Yes. yes. And from here, if I take a region which is charge free, charge free region, if I take, if I take a region which is charge free, that means the charge density is zero. Mm -hmm then we end up getting del square v is equal to zero. And this is what is known as Laplace equation. Laplace equation. So the first one is 
Poisson equation and this is Laplace equation. So because you know charge free region means we will not have charge but we will have potentials, right? We will have source potential. Like on this plate, potential is this much. On this plate, potential is this much. And you have to tell the potential between the regions. So most of the uh, devices and all are like that. They are charge free, but you have a potential on the plates. Okay. And you have to calculate the potential on the region. So Laplace equation is such a powerful equation that sometimes we call Laplace equation as study of electrostatics is study of Laplace equation. We call this study of electrostatics is a study of Laplace equation. So you can imagine the power of Laplace equation which is such a powerful equation. So now what is the summary that using Laplace equation, because it is a del square equation. So you can see that the boundary conditions will be needed because this is a partial differential equation. What type of equation is this? Partial differential equation. So boundary conditions will be needed to calculate the total number of constants, right? So like if I write this uh, Laplace equation, suppose I write the simple one first, can I erase all this? Yes, sir. So please start uh, paying attention from here uh, for uh, advanced electrostatics. So if suppose I want to give you complete picture of electrostatics, electrostatics summary. Because this is the point we should write the summary of total electrostatics and uh, it is like this. We have charge density. You have seen uh, in the Poiseuille equation, we have charge density. We have potential that is written by U or phi, V or phi. Sometimes we write potential by V, sometimes by phi. And what else? We have electric field. These are the quantities that we have done. Now, if you want to calculate uh, from charge density, you want to calculate potential. You can do it. You can write V is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught integral rho d tau by R. This is the formula for potential. And if you want to write charge density using the potential, you can use Poisson equation, del square V is equal to minus rho by epsilon naught, correct? If you want to write from charge density, the electric field, how to write it? Tell me, E is equal to one upon four pi epsilon naught integral rho d tau by R square. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. And if you want to write charge density from electric field, you can write the Gauss law, which is del dot E is equal to rho by epsilon naught, or you can also write del cross E is equal to zero. This all you can use. Now among this, Let us do this one. If you want to write, use potential to write field, what we will do? E is equal to minus? Del phi. 
del V or del phi. And if you want to use potential to write the field, it will be minus integral e dot d e dot dr. So this is the complete summary of electrostatics in one diagram. You can see. Yes, someone may have it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so very useful. Sorry? Thank you. Parampit, you don't have a voice. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Always very... welcome. Yeah. So please, ek bar, zara arrows ko, please see everybody carefully. So you will see that, uh, uh, like, this direction means you want this from this. So the arrow, uh, the sign of arrow is like this. You want this. For example, from row, you want V. So want, and this side is from, okay? So, so now I will take uh, electrostatics further and uh, we will calculate uh, energies I have done now. We have, we, I started calculating energies, right? So, we have done this four charges, right? Yes, sir. Along the square. Four charges we have done? Yes, sir. So, please see this. Energy is stored. It is very important because energies, they ask very much. Energy is stored in a system can be calculated by, so there is derivation actually, but that is not needed. So I will just put the formulas and then we will use to do the problem. We will do the problems from that formula. Okay. So I have done in previous class one by two summation I Q I V R I. This we have done in previous class that get the potential multiplied by charge. Two I have written because you will take combination one and two and two and one both. So you divide it by two because only once we have to calculate it. Okay. Another formula is one by two integral rho and uh, d tau in the place of charge. We can write rho d tau into V potential because charge can be written in many ways. It goes like this. What can be written like this? Lambda dl into V and also Sigma, Sigma DA. DA into V. Right. And finally, the so first formula, second formula, and is are a key. And then third last one is the energy stored can also be calculated as epsilon naught by two, this is most important. Integral E square D tau, and this should be done in all space. So this can be derived actually, but uh, 
I will have, uh, avoid those derivations which are not required. Just we need to do the problems on those derivations. So this is the most important one. Please see this. Energy stored. Uh, Sorry? Sir. हाँ वरुण 3D 2D 1D lambda sigma rho के लिए सर only half ही factor से क्यों divide कर रहे हैं half का factor क्यों आ रहा है let us understand this जैसे suppose one charge Q1 is there and another charge Q2 comes okay yes sir so if you want to calculate the energy stored Half means take, I means take all the combinations. So you will take half. Please see this. Q1 into V2 plus Q2 so Q2 V1. V1. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. So it will become 1 by 2. And you, these both are same? Yes, sir. So two times 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q1, Q2 by pi R. Is R. So that's why. Okay? Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. That's why this half. So everybody understood everybody why half is coming? Yes, sir. Now, please see. Now, this all space means you have to take all complete limit. Okay. All plus space. Infinity to plus infinity. Yeah, yeah. All space, not always plus infinity to minus infinity, sometimes zero to infinity also. Depends on the coordinate system, right? It depends on the coordinate system. Is it okay? So let us take a, first of all, what you would like to take, let us take a solid sphere, solid sphere, uniform charge density. Okay. Uniform charge density. And uh, we want energy stored, energy stored. So please see it carefully that uh, you will put charges bit by bit. So there will be energy needed now to make it. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Like yes, you sir. put two charges, you require energy. If you put two charges together like this, it requires energy. So similarly, you are putting so many charges together. So it will require some amount of energy to make it or not. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes. that amount of energy will be stored. That amount of energy will be stored in this system that we have to calculate. Okay. So for that, what I need? Electric field. So let us write energy stored. Suppose this is capital R will be epsilon naught by two integral all space. E square D tau. Okay. But you know, the profile will be different electric field profile from zero to R and R to infinity. It will be different now. Yes or no. So what is the field profile inside? One by four pi epsilon naught. Bolye? Suppose Q charge is given in this sphere and rho is the charge density. So it will be Q R by R cube inside the sphere. This is the field. And what is the field outside? 1 upon 4 pi F silent naught. Rho Q by, by R square. Q by R, R square. square. Ek bar ap solid sphere wala check karlo. This is actually 
this is also written sometimes as rho r by three epsilon naught. So similarly, q ke term me ye ho jayega. Why? Because rho will be equal to q by four by three pi r cube. Dekhna. Is it clear to everybody? Sabko clear hai? Sir. Hmm. Sir, q ke term me aur ye volume ke term me to wo answer pe depend karega na? यार बेकार क्वेश्चन मत पूछो अच्छे क्वेश्चंस पूछो वरुण फोकस तुम्हारा कहां पे होना चाहिए टेक्निकल चीजों को समझो अब तुम ये पूछ रहे हो क्वेश्चन कैसे पूछा जाएगा जैसे पूछा जाएगा वैसे आंसर कर देना यस yes. अच्छी चीजों में दिमाग लगाओ ना मैं हमेशा ये इसीलिए आपको इंस्पायर करता हूँ क्योंकि आप जैसा जिधर दिमाग लगाते हो वही आपका अटेंशन स्पैन बन जाता है योर अटेंशन स्पैन शुड बी What I am doing right now, I am trying to get the electric field profile. So, यहाँ पे focus करो, okay? Yes, sir. Hmm. अब बताओ जरा. Tell me. All space means I have to go from zero to infinity. So, what should I do? Epsilon naught by two. Tell me. Zero to R. Zero to. First of all, infinity. R. देर इज नो डिपेंडेंस ऑन फाइव एंड थीटा सो दैट्स वाई आई कैन राइट माई स्मॉल वॉल्यूम एज 4 pi r square dr. I have been using it. Plus, आगे बताओ वो. R to infinity. Very good. R to infinity. 1 by 4 pi epsilon. Epsilon naught. Q by r square. Q by r square. Whole square. To 4 pi r, r, r square, square dr. Dr. This you have to integrate to get the value of energy stored in this sphere. can we do it quickly not a difficult integral na bolo bhai is it a difficult integral Yes. Neha. Neha, are you there? Shivani. Hanji, sir. How we will integrate it? U is equal to tell me epsilon naught by two. Constant bar le sakte hain. Yes. Yes, Shiva. By four pi eps. You stop. Q by four pi epsilon naught r q square. इंटीग्रल जीरो टू आर आर टू द पावर फोर डी आर फोर पाई इज इट ओके शिवानी हाँ जी सर ओके ठीक है आप दूसरा टर्म बताएंगे हाँ जी सर हाँ जी बताइए प्लस प्लस जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी नो नो पहले टेक टेक कॉन्स्टेंट्स आउटसाइड क्यू बाय फोर पाई एफ साइल एम नॉट स्क्वायर स्क्वायर राइट फोर पाई फोर पाई आर क्यू आर टू इन्फिनिटी आर स्क्वायर आर स्क्वायर 
वन बाय आर स्क्वायर एंड डी आर चेक करो सही है जी यहाँ पे क्या आएगा आर टू द पावर फोर विल कम एंड इट विल बी कैंसल्ड फ्रॉम आर स्क्वायर तो इट विल बिकम आर स्क्वायर आर स्क्वायर so now no problem let us quickly integrate so it will become epsilon not by 2 4 pi q by 4 pi epsilon not r cube what is what we are going to get from here r to the power 5 by 5 5 yes and from here this integral will be minus 1 by r upper limit will be 0 lower limit will be 1 by r so it will be plus q by 4 pi f sin not square 4 pi what we i will write here 1 by r 1 by r this is the situation now let us get it quickly so what we are going to get now 4 pi is common 4 pi epsilon not by 2 is common and then what is common see here it is r to the power 6 and here it is r to the power 5 so 1 upon r and q by 4 pi epsilon not this is also common right so q by 4 pi f sin not r square this is also common what is left is 1 by 5 plus 1, 1. so this will become now let us write this 1 upon 4 pi f sin not q square By two r, two r square. This r will be outside, right? Two r, like this, na? Yes, sir. Sir, a t r. Hmm. So one upon four pi f sin not. I am taking one of this q square by r like this, and into four pi f sin not. By two into one upon four pi f sin not correct, and into six by five. Six by five. So two three just six. So we will get three by five. One by four pi f sin not q square by r. So please understand. this can be the dimension this can be only possible dimension of energy because what is energy you know 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not q1 q2 by r right yes so yes. dimensionally it can be only 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q square by r only this factor has come which is 3 by 5 samajh aayi sabko so this is the energy stored in a uniformly charged sphere koi doubt hai to you can ask if there is any doubt please feel free to ask very nice question
एंड इफ समबडी आस यू यू कैन सी दिस स्टेप दिस स्टेप we have taken the constants outside which were in both right hello yes sir so this is the energy stored inside and this is the energy stored outside am i right yes sir hello yes sir so if somebody asks you what is the ratio of energy stored up to the radius r and outside r to infinity so energy can be divided into two parts na yes sir because yes. field is inside also outside also so this will be given by 1 by 5 by 1 yes or no yes sir yes sir and if somebody asks what is the energy within the sphere by total energy then what you will write 1 by 5 by 3 by 5 3 by 5 3 by 5 so that means one third of the energy is stored in the sphere can i say that because this yes, will cancel sir. yes we can sir. say one third of the energy is stored within the sphere if we if we compare it with the total so these all are previous year questions क्या है बताओ एक्चुअली वो मेरा कनेक्शन आज अटक रहा है तो आपका वीडियो भी अटक रहा है सुन नहीं पाया बताओ सोचो जरा क्या हो टोटल एनर्जी टोटल एनर्जी टोटल एनर्जी एंड यू आर एनर्जी इनसाइड वरुण Stored inside the sphere up to sorry inside the sphere so fraction of energy you can divide acha can we calculate quickly for shell also For shell? Sir, us me R kya denote kar raha tha? U R, energy stored to ho kya inside this? Suppose this was zero, this was R, this was infinity, huh? Hmm. One Anji third sir. energy is here. Up to uh, this, one third uh, energy is stored. Up to this. Two by third energy is stored. Sir, blur. Hmm. Uh, Sir, your video is not uh, visible properly. Sir, it's clear. Just wait. I am waiting to see. Yes. Can you see now? Yes. Yes, are clear. What is happening today? Now it's visible or not? Yes, Maybe for a small period of time, it's showing two eighty Mbps speed. Maybe to moving left or rejoining. Or maybe there is some problem. Otherwise, connection is Radhika. Uh, can you see the screen now? Video. 
No, it is clear. Not clear? Huh. So, is this okay? Fraction of energy like this, divided like this? Yes, sir. So, total energy, UT is total energy. That was 3 by 5, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Q is square by R. Okay? Okay, sir. This is total energy. So, out of this, what is energy stored up to radius R? 1 by 5. 1 by 4 pi f silent naught. Q square by R. Right? Hanji, sir. And uh, what was energy? Sir, my question was that you have written R ki notation. R is what you denote. Yeah. Yeah, U R. Niche. वही तो अगर आप समझ रहे हो तो आप खुद बता दोगे किसको डिनोट कर रहा है टोटल एनर्जी अप टू रेड दैट स्फेरिकल शेल हैल अप टू ये देखो व्हाट इज योर नेम इनसाइड द स्फीयर इनसाइड द स्फीयर आपका क्या नाम है अरे जो जिन्होंने पूछा है भाई हां शिवानी हां शिवानी ये देखिए जरा ये सेंटर ऑफ स्फीयर है ओके okay? ओके okay. और यहां से लेके जब आप आर तक चल के आए तो 1/3 एनर्जी यहां स्टोर्ड है टोटल एनर्जी की ओके okay, सर तो ये टोटल एनर्जी है यू हैव कैलकुलेटेड दिस इज टोटल एनर्जी हां जी सर ओके इनसाइड हो सो यू आर मींस अप टू हियर व्हाट इज द एनर्जी स्टोर्ड हां जी सर दैट इज दिस बिकॉज़ इट इज 1/3 ऑफ दिस टोटल and u okay. r to infinity means outside, right? Right, sir. So this will be 2 by 3rd. It will be 2 okay, by sir. 5. Third. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Q is square by r. Now understood? Thank you, sir. Okay. So, can we now quickly calculate for shell? So, this is very good. You should ask all the reasonable doubts. Okay, but at the same time, try to push yourself towards good questions, good doubts, focused doubts towards this. Okay? Like somebody, somebody was asking about infinity, this, that. If you want to discuss all those things, you can call me personally. I can discuss with you. But in class, let's be oriented towards the syllabus and towards the topic what we are doing. Okay. Acha. Let us quickly now see a shell. Hollow shell is hollow. This is the shell. Now. Can you tell me if this is the center O up to the radius R and this is infinity? What is field up to R? Zero. Zero. And what is field from R to infinity? Q by epsilon not R. Q by? R square. R square. So if you want to get the total energy stored, it will be epsilon naught by 2 integral r to infinity because 0 to r it is 0 no point of writing that right e square so 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square ka square d tau 4 pi r square dr yes so this will become take constants outside Silent naught by 2, 4 pi into q squared q by 4 pi f silent naught square. Here you will get 1 by r square. The integration is minus 1 by r, r to infinity. Correct? So this will become 
u is equal to 4 pi epsilon naught by 2 and uh, q over 4 pi epsilon naught square q square and this will be uh, 1 by r. So this got cancelled with this epsilon naught is still there this with this and uh, sorry 4 pi epsilon naught huh? cancelled with this and uh, we will get what u is equal to how much 1 by 1 by 2 times q square by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 by 2 times 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q square by r so this is the energy stored for a given charge q in the shell energy stored is half this factor is same and in the sphere it is 3 by 5 so which one is greater half is 0 0.5 and sphere is 0 0.6 0 0.6 so in a sphere energy stored is greater because here only charge lies here and in a sphere some charges are closer enough so they are giving more energy because uh, formula for energy is inversely proportional to distance right so that's why so this is the story of a shell the energy wala sab samajh aaya yes sir yes sir very interesting, no? So let us quickly do one more problem. So just make this diagram. So there is two concentric spheres like this, shells. This is radius A, this is radius B. These are concentric shells. Inner one is having charge Q, outer one is having charge minus Q. And we have to get the energy of this configuration. Again, it will test our understanding of the formula. Let us do it. So, again, make the diagram which I am making. Okay, everybody. This is O. Huh? O to A. What is the field? Zero. Zero. Because if you make a Gaussian surface inside, you will get no charge. Then A to B. What is the field? 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Q by R. And B to infinity. What is the field? Again 0. Because as you come outside, both shells will be inside and total charge inside will be 0. Yes or no? Everybody got this? Devbrat? Yes, sir. Ye profile samajari? Are you getting the profile? Yes, sir. Agar aap andar ho, to field zero hai. Yaha hai, to because of Gauss theorem, yes. you will get charge enclosed equal to Q. So field will be 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R square. And when you come here, because this is Q and this is minus Q. So suppose you make a Gaussian surface here to get the field outside. This is the Gaussian surface. So it will enclose Q and minus Q. So Q enclosed will become zero. So outside field will also become zero. Now we have, we know how to write the energy stored epsilon naught by two integral zero to infinity E square T tau. This is the formula. 
so it will be epsilon naught by 2 only a to b is required a to b 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square chi square 4 pi r square dr yes or no which is equal to epsilon naught by 2 take this outside 4 pi epsilon naught take this also 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught square and q square this is minus so it will it will become 1 by r square integral will become minus 1 by r so, one by so it will become 1 by a minus 1 by b here okay and here 1 Time it will one by cancel. Two, one by four pi epsilon so it will naught. become one by two, one by four pi epsilon naught q square into one by a minus one by b. So this is the answer. See this. Samaj aage? Yes, sir. Tell me, everybody. Are you understanding? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 100%? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Koi doubt hai batao. You can discuss with me. Lakshmi? No, sir. Everything is fine. Absolutely clear? Yes, sir. So see how we can just calculate using the same formula you can calculate. So I give you a homework. Okay. I give you a homework. This was a question asked in net exam that there is a solid sphere solid sphere of radius capital r and charge density rho is equal to kr get the energy stored in it okay lakshmi how you will calculate You are there, Lakshmi? Yes, sir. First, we need to find the electric field. Then yeah. We... Using? Uh, uh, we have 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 rho d2 by r square equations there. No, rho is given. Uh, so, E can be found with, with this. With what? With Gauss theorem. Yes, Gauss theorem, yeah. So, this is a symmetric surface, no? Gauss. Yes. Spherical surface. So use Gauss theorem to get the field inside and outside. Okay. And then apply integral E square D tau. Okay. Okay. Then thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.